and then there are a bunch of conditions that can occur in these patients who have ground glass attenuation, right. So all that we need to know right now is ground glass is ill-defined increased lung attenuation that does not obscure the vessels and obviously has a bunch of these conditions that can present with it. Now you can have ground glass with other things, right. So we call it ground glass plus. Ground glass plus is the terminology I am using. You may find a different terminology somewhere. But ground glass plus is ground glass plus other findings. So here we have ground glass, increased lung attenuation that does not obscure the vessels with septal thickening, right. So you've got these interlobular septae that are thickened. So septal thickening with ground glass is an entity as well. We also call this the crazy paving pattern and this is something that we get in alveolar proteinosis. Now the other form of disease that we get um, with diffuse lung diseases is the nodular disease and in nodular disease you can have ill-defined nodules or well-defined nodules. Ill-defined nodules are like this, where we have ill-defined areas uh, or centrilobular opacities that are scattered throughout the lung. And if you look at it a little diffusely, this all looks like ground glass with some spared area. So within the ground glass, you see these ill-defined opacities. This is important because this is what you get with hypersensitivity pneumonitis. But you can also get discrete nodules, well-defined nodules, right? These are ill-defined, these are well-defined, where you see these really nice well-defined nodules. Now, these nodules have a perivascular course, they have a sub, they have a fissural course here, some of them are in the, along the fissure, some of them are subplural. So this combination of fissural, subplural, peribronchovascular, when you have these kinds of discrete nodules, then we are dealing with sarcoidosis, right? Then there are a few other discrete nodules we need to know about. These discrete nodules are 2 to 3 millimeter sized, same size and then randomly distributed throughout the lung parenchyma and this would be miliary tuberculosis. And then we have a combination of discrete and ill-defined nodules that are focal, they are confluent, we use the term infectious bronchiolitis, we call these bronchocentric nodules and the earlier term for this used to be the tree in bud approach.